Chow routes are, uh, they're unique for Angler too. <laughs> um, but they are our deal. We need chow routes, you know. That, that was the whole kavit about the Angler One router. It was like, well, how, how, what's the story behind this? Like, how do we do this? And we couldn't, so UI router came out. So this is their implementation. It's different, uh, but it works. So components of child routes are ignorant of the parent's route implementation. So children don't know that they belong or like some parent. They don't know what their parent's configuration is. They just don't know. They use relative paths, and then and that's it. But the parent, in its config, and its path property, the path property here, the path property, uh, at the end of it, you just need to put a forward slash dot, dot, dot. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. So you put a forward slash dot, dot, dot on the path of the parent property whose child route or whose route will have a child inside of it. I don't know. I don't know. You look at me like, what? Trust me. <laughs> we'll, we'll go through it. But that, that's how you set up a child route instance. You have to do that. And then this is going to allow you to place another router outlet inside the child component. So right here at the top, we set up another component here for the path. And you can see we put four slash dot, dot, dot. This means, hey, inside of this another component, template, there's going to be another router outlet. And it too will have its own route config, which is right below it. There's another route config. And then so where it says slash first, that's going to be mounted on another component. So it's going to be another component slash first. That's where that's going to be mounted. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let's get into it. I got some plunks. I want to do a little bit of live coding, and then we're going to jump into our exercise. Cool? All right, so one of the plunks that I wanted to show was one that I thought was kind of gnarly. It was a child router. So we'll just look at that for a little bit, and then we'll do some live coding. So any questions on the child router? I've seen some confused faces. Just yeah. one, uh, if you had, if you wanted like a bear route, like, you know, just the, the, the parent route ending with the, the last component, but without a child component part, mm -hmm. how would you do that? Well, if you just want, I, I'm guessing what you're saying is you, just, you have a bear route and then like, you have like just another extension on the route. Like for instance, you have slash users and slash users ID. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, well kind of, I mean. But you slash users well, slash so ID. Well, so you had users and then child components or profile for, for whatever reason. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So yeah. it, that depends where you want profile to load up. Does profile load up in users or does profile render on its own page? There's a difference. If profile loads in the user's template, then you need child routing. If profile is its own page, then you don't. You just navigate to it normally and you're fine. We'll, we'll go over that example, yeah. So it really all depends on where do you want that component to render. In other words, is it parallel or is it nested? Well, what if it's nested, but you also want just to be able to look at the user record? Oh, so you can, I see what you're saying. So you can set a, you don't, ha you don't have to go to the child route. You can set the parent route as the default. So therefore, like if you don't want to go to the, the profile, but just look at the user. You can go there, and the profile won't render. Okay. Yeah. You just got to put use default on the parent, the one that has dot dot dot. Okay. You can put use default on that. Okay. Yeah. Good question. So, oh, this thing doesn't render by default. Okay. So let's take a closer look at this stuff. So the child routes. Let's just look at the code. <coughs> Oh, where is it at? That's not it. There it is. So in the parent router, is that big enough? I need to make this bigger. Let's make it bigger. So in the parent router, again, when you set up the route config, it's path. So normally you would just make a path like this, right? And then you'd be done. Like, here's my path. But because but because we're going to have a child, we're going to have another component 
rendered or an, an, another component rendered in this router outlet, we need to say, hey, we're going to set up a child router here. So we just do dot, dot, dot. And then now we add our router outlet. And then for the child component, if we go into the child component, where is it at? This one right here. You see it has a router outlet. And the only reason it, it can do this is because we put the dot, dot, dot in its parent's configuration. So now it also has a router outlet, and it also has its own route config. And it, too, could have its own children. We'll go over this a little more. It's, I, I know it's, it's different than most routing frameworks. So pop that under the full screen and let's see what that looks like. All right. Where's the full screen button? This thing? No. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, I spoiled it. Let's refresh. Okay, I guess I just didn't want to do it. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. So right here, let's check it out. If we go look at our component, right here inside another component, it just says introducing. So we scroll down to what's rendering, that's all we see. Introducing, its child hasn't been mounted yet. There's no route, <coughs> nothing, nothing has been placed here. We haven't navigated anywhere, right? That's it. It's just empty. Then if we go look, and we see this button right here, it says, hey, if you click this button, it's going to go to first child. So we didn't talk about first child. But first child is really all it's just going to do. It's just going to say, hey, we want to load up the route called first child, right? So if we go back to the router configuration, did I pass it? Right here. The name of this route is called first child, All right? So when we click this button, we're saying, hey, we want to mount first child route as the child component for this route. So that's, that's where the relationship comes. Because remember, the child doesn't know about the parent. So this is where the relationship comes right here. So we're mounting the first child component onto another component when we click this button. So that's why when I click this button, the first child component is going to be rendered right in here to this router outlet. Boom, another component. But even more so, if we go look at first child component, again, we can make sure that the templates, everything is there. Everything is mounted. And again, the first child also has its own routing setup. Yes? So in another component, if you were to have the link to first child in that template, would you have to define the another component in the, in the router link? Or could you just say first child and it'll know where to go? Yeah, so if because the child doesn't really have a parent and it doesn't. So if you just navigate it straight to it, it'll, yeah, it'll just load it up. So, but it's, I, th I think this is actually, now that I think about it, it's actually like a good thing because then you could use the routes like, oh, I, maybe I want this route to be a child route on this link, but on this link, I want it to be separate. I want it to be its own route because it's, it doesn't know about its parent. So yeah, if you just navigate it to it, if you just navigate it to first, it would just load up first. Right, but if you had the, the link in the template for another component, Oh, inside of in, in, inside of there. If you have and a link. So, you, so in the router link, so let's say in between the router outlet and uh -huh. H1, right. you had an A with a router outlet. You could just say first child. You wouldn't have to say. Well, this is first child. Okay. Right, we're, we are on first child. But you, you mean like if we try to set up a navigation in this page? Yeah. 
I you think know. if you, I think if you just put first child, it's just going to mount just first child yeah. without a parent. Because in your app, you're saying route to another component, right? And then first child. So right. I'm thinking if you're already in another component. Oh, is it and, aware? Yeah, and you want to have I'm a link sure. to first child. Yeah. Could you just you know router link equals first child and. I don't think it would be aware because the way they have it set up, from my understanding, is that the child just doesn't know anything about the uh, the parent, even though it's mounted on that URL. I would say we can test it, but I'm am I'm, I'm guessing that it won't know, and you still have to set that up. I'll give it a shot. Yeah.